Okay, and the next part of the 106 and the last part of these theoretical concepts, we are speaking about accessibility. The weight is one. Okay, and we have, should have basic knowledge of visual settings, basic knowledge of assistive technology. Huh. Basic knowledge. Why it's here? Because everyone has the right to use computers. Even if you have a disability, problem with your eyesight, your movement, physical movements, hearing, whatever, you should be able to use the technology, computers, especially Linux. That's why it's here you should be familiar with this concept. Especially in the Linux world, from the beginning days of projects like GNOME, they, were, they had an emphasis on this concept. I remember in the old days, people with accessibility used to be Linux users because Linux had done a lot and had gone the extra mile to give the accessibility features and let people use the, the computer, whatever their physical abilities or conditions were. Linux for everyone. We have three different areas of accessibility. One is Access X. It helps people with physical problems to use keyboard and mouse. Second, we have some visual settings to help people with vision problems like magnifying something or making the contrast higher so it's easier to see. And third, it's assistive technologies like text to speech, which reads the screen. We'll talk about this later. Let's start showing you this stuff. But on different places, we have this. Even on the login page, you have a configuration of the accessibility with this specific icon, which shows you the more different configurations if you have a problem in using the computer because of your disability. There is accessibility features in GNOME, in KD, in XFC, and other environments, even Android, iPhone, all has this nowadays because everyone should be able to use the computers. On the norm, we will go to the settings. And from settings, we have a configuration dedicated to accessibility. We have different areas. This is in the menu or not. Seeing high contrast. People do have problems with seeing things when they are in the gray scale like this. I can say, no, I have this problem and I want everything to be in a high contrast. So easier to see. Reduce animation. Very good. Large text. Everywhere we have, we will have larger text, cursor size, make it larger, sound keys, beep, when you have on and off your caps like and other stuff, so you know something bad is happening. And overlay scroll bars. And you have a screen reader, which reads the screen for you. There are even specific programs for this. Uh, in general, it's called TTS text to speech it reads text i have a friend he's blind doesn't see anything but he's a programmer he always had a headphone in his ear one of the ears he has a very simplified environment of working and whatever he writes he can hear what is being written if there is a dialogue the computer will read the dialogue for him he used to use two different keys for OK and cancel. Now he's answering back to the computer, he says, OK, cancel this. And these kind of stuff, very cool. Uh, on the hearing aids, you will see the over amplification, allow volume to exit 100%, and you have the visual alerts. So if alert happens instead of a bing, you will have the screen flashed sometimes we even uh like this sometimes we even install this because this is much cooler than terminal saying bing 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 it's nicer just to see that something happened 
on the typing you should know more of them screen keyboard nowadays very normal if you need to type something there will be a keyboard on your screen enable by keyboard you can turn it on and off by the keyboard cursor blinking very normal and you have this typing assist repeat keys if you keep one key down it will be repeated you can turn this off because sometimes you may have problems taking your hand off the key sticky keys keys will be sticky you need to uh, press shift alt r okay me and you do it like this if someone has a disability i used to have a friend now he has more advanced technologies still your friend but he's not typing it like it anymore he used to have a stick in his mouth and do like this and press keys one by one if sticky keys on he can say he can push alt shift r and the computer will act like shift alt and r all pressed at once sticky keys slow keys delay between when a key is pressed and when it is accepted so you should press and keep it there. Now it is accepted instead of this. And bounce keys, ignore fast duplicate. If you have something like a Parkinson and you do like this, one A will be uh, counted, not many A's if you are pushing A like this. Very useful. This is for typing, pointing and clicking, mouse keys. So you can use your keyboard as your mouse. Locate pointer, reveal your point, pointer. I mean, in some eyes, sometimes do have this and just use this to show where my uh, cursor is. It's not working at the moment because I'm a virtual machine. Simulate secondary click. For example, if you keep the uh, primary click down for a long time, it will be counted as the secondary click and hover click. You just go somewhere wait here this will flash if you wait here it will be clicked you don't need to push anything if you can't and at the end we have the zoom desktop zoom a general zoom on the desktop wherever you go it will follow your cursor or different styles and these were the main accessibility features on GNOME environment there are other technologies too i talked about the tts Softwares like Orca or Emacs Speak does this. What I've found and added here is a Braille display. These are small needles, but not pointy. Each of them is in group. So if something is written on the display, these needles will represent them so you can read them using your fingers although this is not very practical for a long time you don't have that much sensitivity this is what i've heard from my friends nowadays the situation is much better we have a uh, very nice tts system so the computer can read for you if you can hear and second we have voice recognition systems you can speak what you think you can dictate what computer should do you can choose different parts but there are lots of other devices and methods too. For example, the friend I told you who had the condition to just type with the stick in his mouth. Now he has a system which sits there and he just looks at it and the cursor is being controlled and he can type and predictive type and many other facilities. Anyway, the main uh, focus of this section is computers are for everyone everyone has a right to use the computer especially in my opinion being a system admin is suitable job for people with these kind of disabilities because it's more in the command line you don't need to type a lot you don't need to read a lot of text on the screen all the time and you just know you should know what you're doing and issue commands system admin is the perfect job have fun. Let's go to the next section. Let's talking more hands on.